Our next presenter is Indy Singh, Chief uh, Executive Chairman, I should say, Executive Chairman from Fedition Group. So join me in welcoming Indy to the stand. Thank you. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Um, is this what I use to? OK, sorry, thank you. Um, yes, um, Fiducian started in 1996, and we listed in 2000. I'll move on quickly, and I'll present to you the business overview, our 2019 highlights, our financials, and our growth strategy as quickly as I can, because I was told 20 minutes, now I've been told 15. So here goes. Uh, essentially, we have four businesses. The first, obviously, is funds management. It's a process-driven process uh, and very client-driven. And we have 15 managed funds, four diversified funds, four sector funds, and seven specialist funds. We have about 2.66 billion in funds under management. On 30th June, there were 2.6. And these results are to July, because you had another month of numbers come through, so we thought we'd keep you up to date. We then have a RAP platform, as you saw before. Um, that has managed discretionary accounts, SMAs, and managed funds. We ourselves are the trustees of the super fund. We are the operator of the IDPS, which is the investor-directed portfolio service. We have about $2.11 billion in administration in these two products. We then have a financial planning arm because we believe people do need financial planning time to time, and some of you might be much better and do it yourself, and that's fair enough. But we have a financial planning business. It's quite respected. We had no problems with the Royal Commission and never were ever called up. Um, we have 41 high quality practices, 73 financial planners that work with us and are affiliated to us. Um, and we have about 3.24 billion in funds under advice. Uh, it was about 2.74 30th June, and we made another acquisition, which I'll talk about. And what sets us apart is our fintech, and that's probably the most undervalued part of our business. We are the only company that produces its own financial planning software, its own platform software, and its own reporting software. And they're all totally integrated, which is supposedly the holy grail for financial planners. So we develop these products, and that's the fourth business arm. Let's talk about the funds first. We have 15 funds which are managed under the manage the manager system. I coined this phrase for Australia in 1992, where we select expert fund managers, and we, we blend them, we tailor our portfolios to them, we split them around, we mix them up, and we get the performance by blending them together. Um, we do dynamic asset allocation along the side. We have our own investment team and we get the combined results. So for example, the funds below you'll see our growth fund or our balance fund or our capital stable fund have something like 25 different fund manager portfolios managing them. But we own all the securities. We don't invest in their funds. If we don't like one, and one of them's not performing, and I'm sure many of you would have had a fund or a security you've chosen, and six months later say, whoops, I wish I had the other one. Uh, we've got 25. But when you look at the numbers, we compete against the best fund managers of the world in Australia. Australia actually is the fifth largest financial market in the world. So all the fund managers and everyone from around the world is here. And for us to have, for example, the growth fund, as you can see, over a 10-year period, had five number one rankings. With 25 different fund managers managing for us, five number one rankings, I think three number twos, and you can see the others. And all of them have done well. We also have specialist funds like, for example, our technology fund, which has delivered something like 25% return a year for the last seven years. So if any one of you had put $250,000 there, you still have time. Uh, it would be 1.5 million today. So we, we only do things for our clients. And we have to respond and reply and answer to the financial planners who demand for us because they look after their clients. The next business that we have is the RAP platform that, you spoke, uh, that uh, my previous, the previous speaker spoke about. 
We have RAP platforms for superannuation and non-superannuation. We don't only target high net worth people. We have clients with $25 million and we have clients with $5,000. And people with $5,000 can still access our growth fund with 25 different managers and still be ranked number one. We believe we need to provide a service. That's what we're doing. Um, we have 15 multi-manager funds I talked about. On our platform, there are 51 different single manager funds and 15 managed discretionary accounts. We also offer term deposits. So the whole range is there. We don't believe having 2,000 funds on a platform adds value to anyone because you usually invest in one, maybe two. What are you going to do with 2,000? It just clutters it up. We choose them right. We choose the good ones. We put them on because your money. Uh, we administer them, and the real differentiator for us is the little chart on the right, the picture there. We are the only company that provides the systems right from financial planning to administration to reporting. And we develop it ourselves. So you can come onto our platform, you get the report, you can then look at the RAP administration, and you can get the report on your phone or on your tablet or on your computer whenever you want, and it's updated overnight. And we were on the early, one of the early developers of this. The financial planning business that I spoke about is already there. We are not looking to get new people out from AMP and the others, and we, know we, we all know they're having a bit of trouble. But we started this some time ago because we believe, believe that clients should get good advice. And yes, they can do it themselves. That's their choice. We have a national footprint, 73 financial planners. We just recently bought the financial planning business of my state, which is the bank in Tasmania. We have nine salaried office, offices. We acquired about 219 million of client bases last year. And we've just, in July, acquired another $355 million of client bases. And these people will get advice from our planners, and hopefully they will see that it's much more beneficial for them to be on Fiducian's platform and in Fiducian funds. And if it isn't, then they stay where they are. Um, the way the business works, as I've tried to explain, is that there are three different components earning money for us. So let's say a client goes to a financial planner, and we raise about $100 million through our financial planners. And they're giving advice to clients with $100 million. If that client base, $100 million, moves onto our platform, we get $100 million on the platform. If that $100 million goes into our funds, we get $100 million on our funds. So while much of the competition say we got $1 billion or $100 million or $200 million, for us it's something like three times. So we have three revenue streams. Because my shareholder says, show me the money. We're not in this business to, for you to lose money. And so if we have, say, $8 billion as we have now in our platform, and the market rises 10%, the assets have already gone to 8.8 .8 billion. And the financial planners are doing better, and the platform's doing better. That's how it really works. So let me show you what happened last year. The financial planning business, we had a revenue of about $17.4 million. The administration and platform business, we had a revenue of about $14.4 million. And the funds management, we had a revenue of about $17.6 million. Our gross revenue was 49.4 million, and that's the integrated model where last year to 30th of June, we had $7.4 billion in funds under management, advice, and administration. Since July, it's gone up to 8 billion. So we are growing. Highlights for last year, underlying net profit after tax, that's before amortization, was up 15%. Uh, our funds under management, advice, and administration rose by about 700 million. Dividends grew by about 11.5% over last year to 22.3 cents, and I'll talk about that. We have a number of advisors. We have 125 staff around Australia with over 23 different countries of origin. And that's a real strength. As you can see, the funds have performed exceptionally well, and we will hopefully continue to do so. This is just a quick summary. I don't know if you can read it all. But you can see over the last five years, our annualized underlying net profit after tax has grown by 20% a year. Um, our annualized earnings per share growth 
has grown by about 20% a year. Our cost to income ratio has fallen, so the costs have actually declined by 6%. And the share price over the last five years is up over three times. So it's a good story. As I said, we're in the business of making money for our shareholders. I'm not in the business of saying I've got more and more and more revenue, but sorry, we're losing money this year, and next year we'll make money. I don't have those shareholders. Nice thing to have, but we don't have them. Um, the share price has gone up about 600 and odd percent since 2012. Now, we pay out about 60 to 70 percent of our profits after tax as dividends every year. And we aim to get double digit earnings per share growth every year. And after the, of the last 18 or 19 years since we've been listed, we've had 15 years of double digit earnings per share growth. The full year dividend this year is about 22.3 cents, uh, which is a 12 percent growth over 2018. How do our dividends grow? And this is how I want to run a business, because it's your money. Shareholders' money, you need to get that back, what you put in, and you need to get dividends along with it. So if people had, someone had put, say, $1,000 into our company in about 2014, we would have paid back almost $980 in dividends till this year. And the share price has gone up over three times. Not a bad investment. And that's how we want to run our business. Um, funds under advice, management, and administration, you can see, has been growing consistently every year. There's about $600 million now in the pipeline that could benefit from our processes. And in July itself, it jumped from $7.4 billion to over $8 billion um, this year. This is a quick projection. Um, you can see the red line is essentially the cost increase. This is not a forecast. This is just showing you how the business operates as a company. The red line is where our costs grow. The dark blue bars that you can see are actuals. That's what's happened. The light blue bars are what we think could happen and we hope will happen. The red arrow on top is where we are today with our profits, our growth. And that red arrow has consistently been moving up along that green line over the last four or five years. And we hope it will continue to do so. Now, by June, we had 7.4 billion. You can see the bar there now. Um, we're already 8 billion in July. And we hope that that asset will grow. The funds management will be better. If the market stays, it should even be better. So we expect that right, that little red arrow to keep moving to the right, and that the earnings uh, EBIT, or the earnings before interest tax depreciation, to expand well above what we expect the costs to be. We're continuing to expand. We're continuing to acquire businesses. As I said, we've acquired about 600 million of businesses last year. And we are still looking to acquire more because we have a strong cash position and we generate profits. We are not in the business of growing revenue faster than our profits. We expect revenue to grow, but we expect our profits to grow faster. A lot of companies are nowadays looking to see what forecast revenue is. And we talk about growth in revenue, or they'll grow more, they'll get more revenue. And I keep saying, where are the profits? It's shareholders' money that we have invested with us. We deserve to produce profits. The shareholders deserve to receive those profits as dividends and to grow. And that's the, prof the way our vision is. That's how our business runs. We want to look after our shareholders. We want to continue to grow our business. And I'll tell you what exactly the final uh, slide is. We have four now areas that we can earn business. We're going to leverage the manage the manager process, which you have seen has been a top performer around the world. We've already started an office in New Zealand. While, yes, New Zealand is better than us sometimes at rugby, sometimes, um, we do tend to try and attack that market. And it's not a very big market. But if that works, there's going to be a new passport coming through where we could invest 
and provide our funds to Thailand, to Japan, to Singapore. And once that passport comes through, it might be easier. Our administration, we are already competing with the market and we are really making inroads. We have now SMAs we are offering. There's a, there's a new client we just picked up. They put in 30 million already. They're looking to put another 100. I'll wait and see till it comes. Um, financial planning continues to attract top quality planners. You can see there's a lot of disruption and industry dynamics do favor us, but we are turning back more people than we are employing or bringing on as franchises. We just want the best because you've seen what's happened to the banks, um, losing hundreds of millions in their financial planning businesses. They're getting out of it. And then finally, IT development. We're going to commercialize our software. Our financial planning software could become a real money spinner once other planners start to use it, and that's one of the things we're trying to do. There's a lot of development gone in, and our platform administration software as well is exceptionally solid, it's stable, we've proven it, as you can see with 8 billion in funds under management advice and administration, and that's another area we're gonna start expanding in. So the future is pretty bright for us, we're gonna keep going, and hopefully look after our shareholders. Thank you very much.